everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a brand new box. If you weren't with us uh, at the auction, let me tell you a little bit about it. We have folks who like to have the more spontaneous reaction, you know, as if we've just seen the jewelry for the first time. Other folks like to see it how we've been doing it lately where it's all cleaned and you get to see the, you know, the jewelry really in its glory. So we kind of came up with an idea and my mom, bless her heart, was uh, she volunteered to help. So my mom took the box. Ugh. It's 16 pounds. Ugh. She took the box home and she was the one to open it. She cleaned everything. She put it all back and she tied it back up and gave it back to us. So we're gonna go ahead and open the box for the first time for us, uh, except the jewelry's all clean. So I think that's kind of the best of both worlds. Everyone gets the spontaneous, oh my gosh, uh, look what we found. Uh, but we also have clean jewelry. So we're gonna change the camera angle. We're gonna get started. Before we get going, I just wanted to show how cute this is. She put a little thing of duct tape and then she taped on the cross. She said that she had found it on the floor after she had finished the box. And for those of you, um, you know, who open these boxes, I tell you what, we thought stepping on little Legos when the kids were young was, you know, really awful. Stepping on something like this, or worse yet, an earring, yeah, we've just we've determined that is just awful. But I just wanted to show how cute. This was that she even taped that to the box. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Okay, the first thing was the cross that was tied to the top. And it's not a, you know, it's just a little fashion piece. But that was so sweet of her to, to do that. The miss is going to start pulling stuff out. Oh, you know, hey, let's start with every box has to have one of these. Every box. <laughs> okay, or they have a few. But I like the little... There's some little glass ones in there. That's nice. I like that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have another one. Uh, nice colors. Oh, good grief. This one still has tags. Old Navy. Uh, it doesn't say genuine leather, but it has the Yik Fung on it. That's cool. All right, nice purple. BFF, that's cute. Uh, just a little magnetic, nice. This one has some, this one has a little bit of condition issue, but the beads are definitely worth saving. Um, what I didn't ask mom was about the, the craft lot, how we dealt with crafts. So you know what, we'll probably start a, a bag. That's not bad. It's not overly tight, so if that kind of bothers you, I think this would be a good one. It has a lot of nice play in it. Oh my good grief, how many how many bracelets did this thing have? Okay, uh, plastic, meant to look like wood. This has got a nice feel to it. Nice cold here. Okay. Wow. That's a ton of... Okay, I love this. Nice clamper. Look at the colors. Love that. Love. Oh. Okay, not mark, but wow. Okay, I'm all right. We may be bracelet. We have the same one. Well, <laughs> we have seen this one. Except this one is in really nice shape. Boy, she did she did a great job of cleaning. Everything feels so nice. Nice wood, got a beautiful grain pattern in that. Ooh. Nice, it has a little bit of carving in it. Ooh, very nice. Okay, not Mark, we've got some beautiful enameling. Nice purple, nice purple. Uh, you know, I think this was supposed to kind of look like that uh, Tagua nut, but uh, it's plastic. That one's plastic. Ooh, another wooden one. Uh, has a little bit, I think it needs a little bit of polish, but not bad. It has a decent weight to it. 
again one of the plastic ones I think it goes with that um, one that we had earlier oh look at the inlay gorgeous oh my good grief okay they just keep coming all right this is the one with the heart you know it's been up for debate on who is who's the maker of the one with the heart but look at the beautiful peacocks gorgeous and we've got some more wood nice oh this is very similar to the one that we had in the beginning it has a nice little closure and nice and cold so it looks like a nice hematite pretty oh definitely more kind of that industrial look um not not seeing a maker but it has a really cool eagle these nice heavier findings that's a cool piece oh, we have another piece of yuk fung holy cow oh isn't that sweet look at the rhinestones very nice okay we've got that good grief oh look how tiny this is more hematite here cool oh like the celtic knot on this brass don't see anybody pretty and this would go nicely with the um, peacock oh, I like those wow oh my good grief okay more bracelet okay this one has a little a little wear on the inside so somebody absolutely loved this but look at these rhinestones wow beautiful piece oh cute okay so we have a little elephant a little tension bracelet nice little rhinestone on almost kind of like a memory wire piece and a nice little bangle uh, these look like they're meant to look like copper you can see the finish is coming off so let's put that in. let's put those in the oh you know what these what did I do with that bracelet these would go beautifully with this one nice very nice oh this has a beautiful little wave pattern to it is this signed this is nice enough to be signed i don't see one but wow okay poor grandma she ended up having to clean a bunch okay we have cute little starfish charm and we have some nice probably quartz these don't look like simulated. These look like real stones. Nice. Oh my word. Marked 925, etc. and not sure. How cute is my mom? All right. Well, do we want to save this for last since it's marked? We have no idea what else is in the back, in the box. Because if the rest of the box is like, eh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Broke and not sure. She is so adorable. Let's see what she considers broke and not sure. Okay, well this is, this one's in one piece, but we have finish coming off the plastic. But you know what? There's a lot of these beads that are still in great shape. So yeah, I think somebody will totally love that. Oh, looks like we have a little condition issue with this one as well. The rhinestones look okay, but the cording, yeah, doesn't look so good. Oh, this one just needs a bunch of help. It needs some help, let me tell you. Oh, no, no, no. Illusion necklaces. Oh, we're not taking those out. 
Looks like some broken shell. Uh, looks like uh, earring with missing some mother of pearl, but at least there's some going on in there. So, all right, well, this looks like we have not too, too much of a little craft bag. If this is all she pulled out as craft and not sure, then woohoo, doing beautiful. Let's see. Same hang tag, can't make out, and one tag is missing but looks the same, okay? Oh, premier design. Okay, so we have this one by Premier Design. These are definitely on the boho side of the, their designs. And this is really pretty. I think this one coordinates with this one. Yeah. Pretty. And then we have, what is going on with this one? Okay, let's, I think it goes this way. Okay, this one has a little issue. I think it goes that, oh, I think this is over top of it. Okay, I got it. All right, so those are all Premier Design. Okay, that is cool. Okay, I love this. You know what, Mom, you are so cute. Thank you so much for doing this. We're going to keep these. <laughs> what is this? All right, press and seal. Okay, this is a way to keep stuff together. Oh, my word, how fun is this? Okay, what I will probably do, if you give me a different bag, you want to open this up and then... Oh, my word, look how cute this is. Okay, press and seal. Hey, if they want to sponsor us, look, this works beautifully for jewelry. I love that. Okay, what's this one say? Matching earrings. Oh, <laughs> press and seal. All right, these are nice big hoops with um, little seed beads. Oh, oh my. Okay, press and seal works pretty good. Oh, aren't these cute? Okay, these are these are adorable. We have the larger pair. And then the smaller pair that you could wear like in your second set. How cute is that? Okay, well, let's keep these together. Cute. Oh my word, this is this is too funny. And you're going to hear the dog snoring. Oh, those are, those are cute. Nice articulated. Cute. Oh, my word. Oh my gosh, she is just really going to town. Sorry, gang. She is just snoring up a storm. Nice boho. <laughs> She's exhausted. Nice boho pair. Okay, honey, why don't you try opening them as well since it's going to take me forever if I try opening all of these on air. Okay, you know what we may do? We may stop the camera and open these really quick. Hang on a sec. There's some noise. Lauren is still unwrapping, but we have enough open that we're going to be able to get going. All right, this is gorgeous. We have the three articulated shell pieces together. I couldn't remember what this box was, but after looking at the earrings, this is certainly a boho box. Um, these are not my favorite, um, you know, with the feathers, but... 
the findings look brand new. So they'll end up in a craft lot where somebody will be able to certainly use those. Gorgeous little beads. I mean, yeah, this is definitely a boho box. Look at all of the work that somebody did to pin all of those little glass beads. Nice. Beautiful seed beads here as well. Nice. Nice, nice. I cannot believe she pressed and sealed each piece. I'm going to have to give Grandma some bags. Poor thing. She could have just chucked them all in a sandwich bag. <laughs> She did some work. Oh, aren't those cute? All right, well, somebody has some artistic thing going on here. Uh, these are all woven in, and then you have these little, the silver tone and the copper tone and the gold tone. Oh, those are cute, cute, cute. Oh, new. No. Oh, and Charming Charlie on the card. All right, they were $9.97, and then they were $5. With that nice silver tone hammered look. Nice. Ooh. All right, so we have the nice silver tone, lots of chain, and that great pop of rhinestone in the middle. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got the black rhinestones with the wings oh and those are pretty boy they look new too all right and the gorgeous gorgeous leaves nice oh yeah this is so <laughs> this is such a bow box okay all right we have gorgeous wooden beads some nice dyed wood beautiful seed beads and some lighter weight gold tone Oh, okay, we have some beautiful art glass here. They have that where they have been mounted on a black piece of glass and then a little piece of art glass on top. Oh, aren't those cute? These are adorable. Look at these. These are not um, boho style, but we often find gemstone looking pieces in with the boho. Nice. I cannot believe she saran wrapped those or press and, press and seal. Boy, she spent a lot of time. Thank you, Mom. Aren't these cute? Cute. Oh, those are nice movement too. That hammered look. Nice. And these ones have the copper, nice glass bead, pretty. Oh, these have some weight. Nice. Okay, these are these are, are definitely you're gonna know you're wearing them. And ooh, some clankability. Oh dear, okay. Then we go from um, really heavy to very light. These are beyond light. Have that nice pop of color from that rhinestone right there, that flash and sparkle. Uh, we have a pair of very similar to this from Pop Sugar. Cute. Oh, and then two pairs of this. Oh, different colors, okay. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, and these have some cute little pearls. And then the shell. These are lighter weight. I think these would be great. I think you could wear these all day. I don't think... These are definitely not as heavy as like these guys. Oh, more clankability. We have some dyed wooden beads. They have a lot of presents to them. Wow. Is that all for the earrings? Okay, great. 
And these say unmatched earrings. And we have some shell, pearl, looks like some howlite. Looks like quite a few nice singles. And then have some nice beads. So let's take a look. Let's see if I can get this open. Boy, this press and seal is like... It is really, you want, to try, you want to try and get it open for me? It is truly press and see it. Look at you go. Oh, oh, but hey, they stuck on there. That's kind of cool. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's a gorgeous earring. Man. Okay, there are some really nice glass beads in here. Oof. Oh, look at that one. Nice. A little pearl. That's gorgeous. How light. My goodness. Look how pretty that is. Oh, nice piece of hematite. Oh, that's too bad that the other one of this wasn't there. Gorgeous. All right, so definitely some beautiful singles, that's for sure. Okay, let's put that back. Oh, this was uh, what was in our present seal. Oh, look at this. How sweet is that? Oh, that is beautiful. Those are those are some really nice rhinestones. Gorgeous. Oh, tree life. Fashion, but uh, decent weight. Not bad. Oh, this says mom. This would be great for Mother's Day. Really, these are in beautiful condition. Nice. Oh, dear. Okay, so we have that with the beautiful tassel. And then, oh, we have it twice. Well, how cool is that? Wow, oh, this is a really well-made piece. Beautiful. Not marked. Gorgeous chain. Lovely. All right, let me, let me put these in small bags. I'll be right back. All right, kiddo, what do we have next? Looks like we have some beautiful art pieces. Look at this one. The blues, the greens. Oh, on that golden background. Gorgeous. We've had something very similar to this one. This blue and silver. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of these. But okay, now we, look how puffy. <laughs> We have not had this one. Oh, I'm digging that one. Oh, look how sweet this one is. Nice. Gorgeous. Okay, so we have this clear puffy heart. These nice glass black beads. Beautiful foil beads. And to a nice little chain. Okay, digging that. Oh, and this is gorgeous. Okay, ugh, I don't like this part, but... Look at that. Wow, okay. Nice glass pieces. Gorgeous. This puffy one is just... I love that. Okay, those were great. Oh, <laughs> kid jewelry. <laughs> Alright, looks like we have kid gold stars. 
um, plastic. Oh, let's see this one. I mean, even though that's, um, you know, kind of like, almost like kid plastic, I think that is cool. And this one has some plastic, but that is a nice piece right there. Not bad, not bad. Hey, for kid jewelry, we have had, oh, we have had way worse. Look at these. You know, we're gonna have to give grandma back all these bags. She can reuse them. Oh, gorgeous. Nice glass seed beads, pretty. Oh, someone spent a lot of time. Okay, let's see if I can't, there we go. Look at all that. Gorgeous. A lot of time. Look at this one. Oh, those are beautiful colors. Wow. Nice. And oh, those are beautiful too. This one and those two would be beautiful together. Looks like some little glass beads inside of that one. A few seed bead necklaces. Okay, and this was intertwined in them. This is pretty. Hmm. Thinking this could be silver. It's got a great feel to it. So let's put that in the maybe box. But look at this gorgeous work here. It's marked. Oh, it's marked? Great. Let's see. Beautiful 925. We'll have to weigh that up. And it's small, too. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, we'll put that in that bag. And we'll take a look at that. The end. Nice, nice seed. Seed bead work here. Oh, there's more. I love this. Oh, okay. Looks like we have... Wow. Look at this. That. That is a piece with a lot of beads. A lot of work. Gorgeous. Okay, that one's a little bit longer. Has wooden beads. Oh, this one is a little stretched. Okay, I think this one, yeah, this one's really stretched. We're going to put that in the craft. Oh, the shell. That is pretty. Let's do that last. Oh, this one has some issues too. Okay, this one has some cute little hematite beads in it. Really, really micro. Micro beads. Okay, those are going to go. Some really, really nice smooth glass beads. Another little seed bead with the little drops. And this one has little seed beads as well as the little pieces of shell. Gorgeous. But this, talk about fun. I think that one is fun as all get out. Let me put these back in this bag. At least we'll keep them separated. All right, let's see what's in this one. A lot of Shambhala sparkly beads. Oh, these are like um, plasticky. Cute. Little arrow. Um, we've had that one before. Okay, this one. This one has all kinds of color coming off, so we're going to put that in the craft. See if this Shambhala is working. 
Okay, that is. I don't know if that one's going to hold. I think this one's probably going to end up in our craft, too. That Shambhala is pretty loose. She did such a cute, cute job of putting everything together. Okay, this is one of the, like, multi-strands. And it has everything under the sun with the little rhinestones. Cute. Let's see if this one closes. Oh, this one's much tighter. Very nice. This one has hematite beads on the bottom. Gorgeous floating cross. This one has those sparkle beads. And again with the hematite on the outside. And this lovely piece has the shell and then all of the seed beads. Nice. Very nice. This is a sparkly, nice little boho-y group. All right, let's see what we have next. Wow, there's rings. Okay, in a boho lot, we don't see that too much. Let's see. Oh, how fun is this? Okay, that is, oh, that's pretty jazzy. Oh, pretty gorgeous. Inlay, wood inlay. Nice. Oh. Okay, these are all on the smaller side, that's for sure. This looks like a homemade wrap. Okay, now this is like the black metal, like that rhodium look. That is a keeper right there. Really pretty. This feels like a stainless steel, plastic, wooden. Nice little inlay. Beautiful little piece. And gorgeous AB rhinestones. Nice group. All right, what do we have next, kid? Those are pretty. Here I'm gonna. We have more doggy snoring, so we have to bear with us. Okay, two-piece set. Oh, definitely not silver, but beautiful findings. Oh, these look, these look like some kind of dyed something. <laughs> She's really going to town. Uh, yeah, these are definitely some kind of dyed something. You can tell in here uh, where the, like the polishing and coating start, but pretty. Nice and cool to the touch. They both have the same findings. That's nice. Somebody would love to wear that. Oh, I see ribbon. Hmm. Oh, more fabric. I don't, you know what? I'm probably not going to open this. Uh, this looks like illusion necklaces mm. and ribbon. Oh, you know what? We're going to just leave that. We're going to leave that alone because, oh, because we know how that's going to go. Oh. Gorgeous. Okay, well, we'll have to get our light out to see, but that looks, you know, I would love for this to be real amber, um, but that has a lot of stuff in it. But pretty, pretty, pretty. But look at this cloisonne. That is gorgeous. Look at, oh, that's cute too. What the heck is that? Okay, well, we'll look at that in a minute. Look at this cloisonne. Ugh. Okay, gorgeous. Looks like somebody made this. Um, looks like a hair clip. Cute. Okay, I, like I said, I, I think that's faux, but still a nice piece. Be done. Fashion cross. Okay. There's a pin. 75th something Chicago 2016. Okay. All. Okay, well, let's see. We have this definitely. Oh boy, is she going to town. Okay, this could be silver. We have a fairy and a really nice little. Yeah, that definitely looks like a piece of glass, but very pretty with some AB coating. 
Oh, pretty star. And we have some nice pendants in here. So it looks like we have some stone. Wow. <laughs> um, really nice piece of foil glass in here. And this looks in immaculate condition. A little wooden cross. Beautiful. Oh, a little, little arrowhead. Pewter. This is a pewter cross. Wow, what is this? Rothenstein Designs. They're very, very eclectic looking. Looks like malachite. Maybe some chrysocolla. Interesting. That is one big pin. It looks like a wolf um, skiing. Uh, Sarajevo 84. Cute. Man, this thing is heavy as I'll get out. Okay. Um, some kind of hunk of either metal. <laughs> she's really, she's, she's exact. Iberia. All right. Well, we'll have to look that up, but nice keychain. Heavy as I'll get out. Okay, this was quite quite a group, but mm, this one and this one, definitely going to have to look those two up. All right, change the battery. We're starting again. Oh, some pretty little beads here. Some shells, some wood, some acrylic, some more acrylic. I think that uh, the Tagua. That's what that kind of feels like. And some, even though these are acrylic, that has a great color. You know, not a color you see every day. Oh, pretty. Okay, looks like they're all there. Nice. It's tension. It uh, does right here. That's beautiful. Ooh. This one, too. Beautiful glass. These are sparkly, so I'll get out <laughs> with little seed beads attached to them. And the, wow. These are heavy, so some kind of stone and then heavier metallic. Nice, those are all nice. Oh, we've got shell and glass. Beautiful hunks, and then look at the glass beads. I mean, if you didn't like the composition, this would be a great one to repurpose. Gorgeous. Oh, okay, looks like we have some rose quartz and some cat's eye looking beads and some glass. Nice, that is beautiful. Oh, Christmas. Okay, these have some Really cute. Really cute. Oh, look at this one. All right. Well, we know the glass beads here will end up in my Christmas. Okay, nice stretch. Looks like some lamp work and foil beads. And these have a little bit of that a B kind of look to them. Nice, that's a beautiful one. From artist hands to you. Well, this is definitely dyed how light, but that, those are great shapes. Nice. Blessing bracelet, Swarovski pearls or semi-precious Jones. Nice. It's made with sterling silver. Nice. 
Yeah, blessingbracelet.com. Wow. Aren't those gorgeous? Okay, well, let's not put this one back in the bag. Let's put that one back in the precious. Oh, no, these are fun. And we have dyed shell and some plastic acrylic beads. Nice stretch. Uh, again, with the dyed shell. Those are both fun. Again, with the paper rolled beads. Boy, this is hard to do. It looks easy, you know, you, you look at the uh, how-to and mm-hmm, and then you try it. There's an art to this. Those are nice too, great colors. Okay, well this looks like malachite. Don't know if it is synthetic or if it's real, but that is on a nice, nice stretch bracelet. Gorgeous, that's gorgeous. Here's the bottom inside, and look at these. Looks like an artist took a lot of time trying to get all those to fit in there. Cool, very cool, nice color combo. If I put these over here. Oh, we have the carved face in the sun. Looks like a few pieces of turquoise or dyed halite on it. Eh, I'm not so crazy about that cord. Those don't really feel like glass. That, those have a different feel to them. Cord is okay. It's not in the greatest of shape. It looks like we have some wire wrapped amethyst. Looks like even the host rock. Pretty. Oh, these are filthy. Yeah, no amount of cleaning is going to get these cleaned up. Okay, this one's going to go into the... Some things that, you know, when they sit in the warehouse so long, there just is no saving them. Um... Nice metallic beads, but on that cord, I take it off that cord. Okay, the pendant is in decent shape, but again, I, it feels like these cords all, maybe, I don't know, maybe they got worn a lot. They, have, they just have a, a rough feel to them. Cute little piece here. I'd put that on something a uh, silver tone. I think that would make it um, pop a little more. We've had these. Those are really pretty. Nice uh, colors. Great for spring. I think that would be really, really fun for summertime. Again, pendant is in decent shape. I, I take it off this cord. Oh, look at the little dolphin. Again, these are really beautiful. Uh, this cord looks to be in a little bit better shape. Uh, plastic, but lightweight. I think you could wear that a good chunk of the day. Pretty Tree of Life. Looks like in copper tone. Again, I take it off the, the cord. That's one of like the volcanic beads. And maybe some carnelian. These are findings. Oh, because this is a nice thicker. This one seems to have fared better. All right, she did such a cute job of grouping everything. All right. Oh, are there some honkers in that? Okay, let's see. Wow, okay, here's my hand. 
Okay, that is a lot of presents right there. But cool design. Like the design. There's just there's a lot of it. That's a heavy, heavy, heavy piece. Okay, these are plastic. Looks like this one has seen a little bit better days, but I like the color. Beautiful color, though. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Very nice fashion. Uh, lightweight. Nice representation here. Looks very close to stone. Without all that weight, though, so you could wear it all day. Clankability. Two. We've got the double row. Definitely some clankability. Okay. Aw. Okay, somebody made this. Um, did some wire wrapping. It's really cute. And again, if this wasn't your style and it's kind of bent, then I'd take it for the parts. There's some beautiful pieces in there. Boy, that color is gorgeous. Okay, this has a this has a feel. I mean, this one's definitely weightier. Beautiful glass beads. And, um, I mean, this is not a completely lightweight chain either, so a lot of weight to this one. A lot of good usable pieces in that one, too. Oh, I like that. Oh, pretty. All right, we have, you know, like acrylic, mother of pearl, nice chain. Pretty. Like that one. Ooh, illusion. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, let's do this bag. This one. Some beautiful seed beads. Looks like we have some clear acrylic beads. These feel like glass. And some uh, tiny pearls. Beautiful. Okay, let's put this, and she packed everything in, in bags, which is just so sweet. It was so nice of her to do this for us. At least, you know, you're getting to see the pieces the first time we do. Aren't these nice? Look at that. Beautiful cat's eye. Love the shape. Nice. But everything is clean, so you get to, we just had this one in the, like, box before last. Except this one is a little upgrade. We had the same necklace, but no rose quartz. So you have the hematite, these beautiful kind of barrel beads, the little turtle, and this one has two pieces of the rose quartz. Nice. Anyway, but at least everybody gets to see everything clean. Uh, not everybody is really digging that, you know, seeing it in its natural, dirty, raw kind of form. That's beautiful too. An artist looks like someone made this really beautiful dainty. It takes a lot of time and effort to string beads, especially oh, especially tiny beads. <clears throat> All right, those are gorgeous. Uh, we feels like we have some acrylic beads, glass beads, and then look at these foil beads. Nice size. Oof, those are nice. All right. Oh, this is kind of like a mesh. Nice. Uh, nice and sparkly. But yeah, it's almost like a mesh chain. Cool. Like that one. Ooh. Okay, I'm not so crazy with, um, with the cord, but... Look at these beads. Those are some really nice ceramic beads. Nice. Oh, that is sweet. 
These are some beautiful blue beads. What we have on here. Look at that color. That's that is a stunning blue. Beautiful. Oh, looks like we have a bunch of dyed stone and this cool little barrel clasp. Totally adorable. <laughs> Can't have a box without some puka shells. Looks older. Looks like we have an older clasp. And that little extra details here. Nice. You know what, we said the other day um, that we do not see a lot of yellow and we have actually seen quite a bit of yellow lately. Perfect for spring. If we ever have spring, we're trying really, really hard here in California to go right to, right to summer. Okay, well the flower needs a little help, but you could easily take that off and just use the faux pearls. And these are really cute. Oh, we've got cat's eye beads. Nice graduated necklace with an extender. Silver tone beads. Nice. Okay, nice glass. You know, a little bigger than seed beads. Nice green. Hmm. Well, okay, these look really, really perfect. Uh, we have had real malachite and we have had some extremely nice synthetic. And this just looks really, really perfect. So I would have these checked out regardless. But that is a beautiful color combination. Ooh, so is this one. Very nice. We have the green and blue glass bead, multi-strand. It's beautiful glass beads here. Ooh, I like, I like this one. Very nice. Oh, a magnetic clasp. That is always a wonderful feature to find. Here we have some serious micro seed beads. And it's like glass beads. Nice multi-strand. Really pretty colors. Looks maybe artisan made. Oh, and I think this is going to match. Uh, we had the bracelets earlier, the you know the paper rolled beads. Always nice to find a set. Oh, aren't those gorgeous? Okay, we have some cloisonne. And it looks like we have some beautiful. So we have cloisonne, we have some gorgeous art glass beads, uh, nice foil beads. And, you know, if somebody spent all that money, these could certainly be a stone and not glass. Nice necklace. Beautiful. Oh, isn't that stunning? All right, so we have the, the shell medallion. Shambhala closure. Let's make sure it works. Let's see. It's a real little tight, but it does go. And these nice wooden pieces. That's quite a piece. I'm going to say yes. This is a boho box. Wow, those are heavy. Well... So it looks like we have some beautiful ceramic beads. You're going to know you're wearing this. 
Uh, hands down, you, you will know you have that on. I love how Grandma grouped everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> See? She's going to get hooked in the jewelry world yet. Okay, we have acrylic beads, some wooden beads, we have a few little stone beads. Nice piece. Oh, I can tell already. I love those. I love these. These are gorgeous. Look at these beads. Nice length. Oh no, these these are the these are the winners right here. I love those. Oh, that's whimsical. Who in glass? We like glass. You have to forgive the dogs. Everybody's drinking today. And hopefully not driving. All right. Just really fun. Just a really fun multi-strand. Oh, this is uh, one of those little ball enclosures. Some beautiful dyed shell. We have some a little bit of stone, a little bit of art glass. That's beautiful swirl pattern. Nice. Oh my goodness. Still drinking. Okay, it looks like we have Howlite. On faux pearls. I think somebody made that. Cute though. Colors will go with everything. Oh, that, I love this pattern. Somebody spent some time. Gorgeous. That's really nice. Oh, isn't that cute? All right, we have cute little green seed beads and a cute little, I don't know, do you think it's a dolphin? Maybe it's a dolphin. Yeah, I think it's a dolphin because if you look at it from the negative side, the reverse side, cute little thing. I like that. All right, looks like we got a set. Ooh, they have a nice feel. Wooden beads, nice dark color. And let's see, are they all the same length? Are they graduating? All right, all, all the same length. And you know, it's long enough that you could definitely uh, do a trissade on this, you know. Nice, okay, hey, you know what? I mean, they are uh, just a really beautiful dark cognac color. I think that would go with a lot. All right, let's see. You know, you could wear it this way. You could probably wear it with this on the side. So you could wear either this one or this one. But it's quite a different look to have that together. And you can see some of the grain. I love to see that in the beads. Well, that is very different. I haven't seen that one. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Okay, simple closure. This one has some weight. And we have metallic beads. And yeah, these kind of feel like ceramic beads. Yeah, I think that one's got a little chip out of it. Let's see if we can see what this is. No, no, these are stone, little tiny stones. Okay, but explain why it is so heavy, but look at all the strands. Nice muted color. I think that would go with a lot. Nice. All right, this was the, the marked 925 and not sure this was the one from the beginning. Oh, nay. Ooh. It has that really intricate kind of closure 
you know what? I don't think we've had one in purple. Nice. I'm going to just put that over here. Doris, Hobby and Craft, 7 inch hematite. All right. Look at these hematite beads. Talk about pop, the pop and sparkle. Genuine leather. Boy, that looks very Brighton esque, doesn't it? It has a safety catch. Hmm. How do we open this? You know what? I'm not going to push it. Looks like pearl. And it says genuine leather on the inside. Hmm. Okay, that we'll have to take a look at. Super link. Super link. Also, kind of an intricate closure. Interesting. Okay, I can say we haven't seen that. Wow. E-L. Okay, so is this Erica Lyons? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like like Erica Lyons. Okay, that has some gorgeous, gorgeous beads. Whoa. Oh, I'm digging that. Hey, we have some acrylic, we have some glass. A lot of nice sparkle here. Ooh, really enjoy that one. Sterling. Ooh! Okay, well, if this is sterling, where'd my loop go? There is a really good chance that these are actual turquoise. Let's see, hold on. Okay, it is marked sterling right here. It has the flowers, the petals encompass the little stones. And that certainly could be turquoise. Turquoise does come in you know, all shades of blue and green. Hmm. Okay, that's a looker. That is a looker. Bindy. Bindy. Or maybe Bindy? I don't know. Don't know this brand. But it has some gorgeous cat's eye beads running down the center. And then we have like little metallic, like a little row of metallic on each side. Okay, that's that's a decent piece right there too. Italy. Ooh, nice. All right, so the little cross is marked Italy. We have some gorgeous glass. This almost a tanzanite color, and then the clear, and then we have you know the A B coating here on the hearts. That is a cute piece. Let's see. Hmm. Ferrera. I can say that that is new to me. Ferrera. Okay, we'll have to look that up, but look, it's kind of this uh, chain mail here for the bracelet and this very large closure. That is neat. MX. Ooh. That is a different link. Okay, that looks very much like a, uh, like a Jasper. And this is a gorgeous necklace. Beautiful link. Multi-strand. Okay, this is a nice piece. Beautiful feel. Nice silky. Oh. Okay, let's see what this is. Williams? Okay, let's not sure. Marked Williams. It looks like a dragon. Here. Um where did he go? Okay, well, it's not, not magnetic at all. Hmm. All right, we'll have to look for that Williams. Cute. Cute little pendant. Brazil. All right. 
Other than Brazil, don't. I'm not seeing another mark. Looks to be an okay shape. Looks like somebody did wear it uh, quite a little bit. So somebody loved the piece. I take it off of this. Alex and Ani 925. Ooh. You know, does it have a date? No date. Uh, I know they are experimenting with um, you know, different styles and whatnot. So this one just says dance. It says Alex and Ani 925. Doesn't have a date on it, so I'd have to look that up and see if we could get a... Kenneth and thing cool. Ooh. to be in pretty good shape. Has that uh, typical Kenneth Cole hang tag. Has that really interesting clasp. S seen this clasp, uh, clasp quite a little bit. And that beautiful blue, almost like a Larimar. Nice piece. Leah Sophia. Okay, I love that pop and sparkle. Leah Sophia, nice little glass heart at the bottom, beautiful rhinestones. I wish they wouldn't use so much of this faux cord, but they do. And then the other, here we go with the beautiful glass beads. Um, and the, uh, the wire doesn't look to be in too bad a shape. I think this would definitely be sellable. Nice glass beads, you have some metallic beads. Love the colors. 18 karat gold plated. Oh, how cute is this? Cute. Now that is a cute little art glass piece. The back is purple. Nice little cute. Okay, that's gorgeous. Um, okay, this does not have a hang tag, but this has a very familiar clasp. Um, Monet uses this type of clasp. I'm wondering if, okay, we'll definitely have magnetic. It's not gold, but I'm wondering if we had a hang tag come off. It's a beautiful, nice buttery gold. It has a great feel. It certainly could have been a Monet, but that is really, really beautiful. 925 China. Okay. Ooh, we got a lot of pulling. All right, well, we'll take a look to make sure that it's not, um, you know, in the plating or, or anything like that, but um, they're beautiful anyway. Does one have any markings on it? Okay. Okay, well, the clasp does, but the chain doesn't. It could be silver plated, so we'll take a look at that one. 925 on pendant and chain. And it has a great look. Okay, we've got it on the spring ring, but not on the rest. It has the initial N. It has a nice little weight to it, but you can definitely tell it needs to be cleaned. It has some oxidation going on. Let's see what this says here. M. Looks like MHC. So it has got a nice mark on it. So nice. 925. Oh. Here we have the infinity. And then nice little pearl. Again on the clasp. 
All right. Well, we'll have to check that out. Oh, not that one. Doesn't have um, any mark, but it'd be cute for a pendant. That'd be great for a little pendant. Oh, I love the picture. It has a little brook under a bridge. Oh, that's cute. Looks like somebody wire wrapped that. Let's so it doesn't look like we're silver at all but that is cute that is adorable somebody would love that hmm. oh good luck on that <laughs> let's see if this one's any different Okay, these are marked. Oh, man, oh, man. Um, I'm going to have to get a more powerful loop out to take a look at those. Um, but really pretty pair of earrings. It looks like the post is broken off of that one. But, I mean, if you really wanted to, they could be fixed. So those are pretty nice, too. Bottom of box. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. That's gorgeous. This came flying out. That's some kind of stone. Acrylic. Okay, looks like we're going to have some acrylic. We're going to have some glass. Some stone. Beautiful ceramic. All right, look at it. There are there is the plethora of what's on the bottom down here. Oh, something really pretty broke. And then uh, here are some some cloisonne beads too. Wow. Look at that pretty acrylic. See, something something beautiful broke. All right, gang, we've come to the end of the box. I'd like to thank my mom. That was so sweet. In fact, uh, she had so much fun doing this one. She's doing a few more, so we'll do a few more in this kind of format. Again, like as usual, if you see anything you like, just email me and uh, let's talk about it. All right, gang, thank you so, so much for being here. We appreciate you liking, commenting, subscribing. We really appreciate your time. Uh, be safe. Well, we want everybody to be able to uh, say tomorrow is a good day. All right, gang, until next time, take care. We'll see you soon.